time is filmed in front of a disappointed studio audience. Right, everyone. It's series three of Hacker Time, so we're going to shake things up. First of all, the lemon from the last series, he's fired. That means you, lemon. Come on, get out of here. Go on, get out, ho, ho. This needs to be our funniest series yet. So no more low-brow humour, no wacky costumes, no stupid voices, and definitely no more falling over and trumping. Hey, you're right, cockers! Whoa! People! We've got ourselves a show! Hey! Ho-ho! Ho-ho! You gotta watch this. You gotta watch this. You gotta watch this. My, 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 hits you so hard. Makes me say, oh my word, thank you for watching me. It's tiny, but not what you know, it feels good. The that takes two, comedy gets some clips, it's true. So sit back, don't move too much. This is the show, but you can't touch. So, hack a time. Thank you. Okay, everyone, counting to on air in seven, six, five. <laughs> is this a good time to get money off you for Will's birthday cake? No, it isn't, Herman. Get out. On it. air in three, two, one, and cue. Rhymes with orange. Obvious. Borange. It's boring. Oh, uh, <laughs> how do cockers? Welcome to Hacker Time. Today, I've decided to open this show by telling you the best joke I've ever heard. Ready? <clears throat> A beaver walks into a shoe shop. Uh, Mr. Acker, Mr. Acker. No, 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 not, not now, Herman. No. A beaver walks into a shoe shop. Uh, yeah, but it's very it's urgent, it. Mr. Acker. No! Stop it off, what are you doing? Well, I need to get money off everyone for Will's birthday cake. Cake? How, how much are we giving? Well, it's two pounds each. No chance. The most I'll stretch to is seven pence now. Get out! All right. Go on. So, as I was saying, a beaver walks into a shoe shop. <laughs> hey, that's, that's the joke. I mean, why would a beaver walk into a shoe shop? <laughs> I'll have you know that I work very hard to finance my large shoe collection. Upstaged by a beaver. Again. That beaver won't be bothering us anymore. He's off enjoying the patio I've just dug for him. <laughs> my guests today are true CBBC royalty. Even though they're both over 200 years old, they're still stars to me. Larry, send them in. Sure thing, hacker. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for today's very special guests. They're double trouble. <laughs> it's the Chuckle Brothers! <laughs> oh, what are you two doing here? Well, that owl face man, Derek Magoo yeah, or something, yeah. he, he invited us. He yeah. means me. <laughs> hey, we don't appreciate you saying that we're 200 years old. I mean, he nearly is, but I'm not. I was talking about the Chuckle Brothers. I mean, who are you two, anyway? Are you the guys I put to unblock the toilet? Hacker, you know we are with Sam and Mark. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sam and Mark. Never heard of you. I mean, you just stay there. I'm sure it's just a disastrous and irreversible mix-up. Derek, who are they? Unbelievable. Derek, these two are rubbish. They can't do anything funny with a pane of glass or a ladder or something. I wanted the Chuckle Brothers. But Sam and Mark are CBBC royalty. CBBC royalty, more like. What? Well, I don't know what that means either. Oh. Hacker, watch this. <laughs> Sam and Mark first met years ago on Pop Idol. It's like the X Factor, but old. Since then, they've become household names, presenting some show where Fern Cotton messed up the her, as well as TMI, TMI Friday, Skate Nation, Copycats, and Sam and Mark's Big Friday wind-up. They've done everything, which is all you need to know about Sam and Mark. That's all well and good, but can they turn a simple DIY task into what a chaos? Oh. Forget about the Chuckle Brothers. But I wanted the Chuckle Brothers. Oh. Just get out there. The, the, that way. Yeah, guys, I'm that for my one. But I'm hoping to get a steel string off my mom for my birthday. Oh, Do you know what, Herman? We've actually been looking for a new guitarist for our band. Oh, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, come and have a jam with us anytime, mate. Whoa, 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 what's all this filthy talk about? Jam? Herman? Get out of here! Yes, Mr. Decker. Oh, go on. Oh, I'm sorry about him. He's like a Christmas cracker, him. One disappointing joke and a hat. 
Now, it would appear that we are stuck with each other, so let's make the best of it. Samuel, what are you doing? I'm just texting Herman the address to the jamming session. I pretend you didn't just say that. Let's move on and find out what's coming up. Larry! Put your phones away, folks, because coming up on today's Hacker Time, Sam and Mark react to something funny. <laughs> Welcome to a new hard-hitting medical documentary, Casually. And let's have a big hand for a big hand. <laughs> I tell you, you'll laugh till you're a horse. All to come on <laughs> Hacker Time. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it, cockers? <laughs> Right, are you ready for some in-depth questioning? Big time, yeah. bring it. Oh. Here it goes. Um, Sam, yeah. what I like about you is how you react in a unique way every time you learn something interesting. Behold! Interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. 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 Interesting, aren't it? <laughs> oh. Hey, Sam, do you know any other words? <laughs> it would appear not. <laughs> <laughs> you know the word appear, though, because you just said... Yeah! It, it? Oh. Hey, did you know that I used to be in a double act? No, I didn't know that. But it didn't go as well as planned. Do you think we should start wearing matching suits? No, I'm embarrassed to know you. How dare you? I dare! Well, stop daring it, not nice. I'll do whatever I want. The double act was over after that. <sighs> anyway, it's about time I asked some lovely, proper questions, isn't it? Oh, yeah, come, nice on. Share. come on. Come on. Yes, ready. You two have been around since the Dark Ages. <laughs> Here's photographic evidence. Oh, <laughs> That's no. you, Sam, looking like you need a good wash there. I do. Look at the beard. That's horrendous. <laughs> Rebel I want to be that. McFly. Yeah. And here's you, Mark, looking like a middle-aged female EastEnders character. <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at the state of you. What were you thinking then? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> it's like you're auditioning to be on uh, Friday Download. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Now, you two boys are currently known for presenting Sam and Mark's Big Friday Wind-Up. Yes. Where you surprise members of the audience, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah. Well, right. to find out who's getting the surprise, finger of fun, find us someone! Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who was it gonna be? Who's 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 it no. All right, then I'm ready. I'm now, ready. you know your sister, Sue? <laughs> yeah. You know how Sue lives in a house? Yeah. <laughs> Is it this house? That's the one. <laughs> that's yeah. the one. <laughs> yes, that's right. We went to your sister's house. <laughs> Let's see what happened next. Susan! <laughs> Susan! <laughs> oh. Hello, we're doing some filming for Hacker Time. Oh, I hate that show. Do you? Not a fan. Not a fan. Sue, she's not a... Susan, she's not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, she's not a fan, Hacker. Susan, come on, Sue. Sue, oh, Sue, help me out. Sue, please. I need your help, Sue. Sorry if I tell you. Oh, nice one. Well, what a waste of time that was. <laughs> Did you enjoy all those wind-ups, Sam and Mark? That was wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Sue. I she Cheers, Sue. Show. Thanks for nothing. Uh, she'll not be watching. She hates the show. <laughs> not a fan of show. Anyway, you two are starting to wind me reet up. I'm bored of all this question asking and that. What's coming up next, Larry? It's time now for a brand new documentary that'll make you feel sick with joy. It's casually. This is Neil Bymouth Hospital. In this week's episode, tears, <laughs> trauma, Nurse, he's got me swab. and disappointment. I don't believe this. Gold carrot mash again. Oh, no. This is Casually. Doctors here at Nil Bymouth Hospital are renowned for their professionalism. Hello, Mum! 
It's the job of senior surgeon, Dr. Sideparting, to lead his junior doctors in checking on patients. I know all the patients by their first names. Isn't that right, Janet? It's Steve. Oh, you'll never get better with that attitude. Now, if you'd care to take a look at the next patient, he has a mystery condition. Well, it's obvious. He's green. I've always been green. <laughs> well, then stop wasting my time. Next. Scalpel. Junior doctor, Dr. Pox, is in her first week at the hospital. Swab. And has already been showing her competitive side. Scissors. Paper. Ah, stone beat scissors. I win! <laughs> Fellow junior doctor, Dr. Scab, isn't finding his first week so easy. As you can see from your x-ray, you've got the body of a dog and the brain the size of a pea. Are you sure that's right? Oh, yes. The x-ray machine never lies. I mean, I should know. I was standing in it the entire time. Exactly. You asked me to wait outside while you stood in the machine. Oh, what am I like? I'm always getting it the wrong way round. <laughs> Come on, back we go. No dawdling. Oh, me broken leg. <laughs> it's 4 p.m. in the ward, and one patient is busy picking her nose. I shall have that one. Hmm. Oh. Right, let's see what your x ray shows this time. Oh, oh I don't believe this. I know, yep. Turns out it was body of a dog, brain of a pea syndrome after all. Oh, but you've got it wrong again. What seems to be the problem here? He x-rayed himself instead of me. It's perfectly obvious what's happened here. Your terrible syndrome has made you hysterical. Now get this man a chew toy. <laughs> There's a good doggy. I love being doctor. Next week, the doctors make a shocking discovery. I don't believe it. I've been doing some detailed internet research and look what I found. Goats that sound like humans. Hello, I'm a goat. Only on Casually. Who'd have thought that was made by a dog? Doesn't show, does it, cockers? Oh, now, really Sam like and Mark, it. you've known each other for ages, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. ages. But Sam, what do you prefer, Mark or laminate flooring? Laminate flooring. Or Mark or meringue? Moran. Mark or stoke juice? Stoke juice, definitely. Mark or angry badgers? Oh, definitely angry badgers. Mark or parquet <laughs> Oh no, Lolly, this could go on forever. We're going to have to play the emergency film. Well, do it quickly. The viewers will be starting to switch off. <laughs> Not once they see this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Derek McGee here. <laughs> and today's Derek time is a celebrity special. First, Barney the dog is still traumatised by penguins after the last expedition to the North Pole. Oh, it's all right, Barney. This one's not real. <laughs> he won't steal your flask this time. Is, is that Helen in the background? Skelton, give him a moist towelette, will you? It's going to go everywhere. Dizzy Rascal lives up to his dizzy name. Hey, look, here comes Dizzy now. <laughs> he looks all over the place, doesn't he? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and Hackety Dog gets rave reviews from critics for his new show. Yes, I tune into Hackety Time all the time. That dog is almost as funny as me. Now give me my own show. That's it for Derek Time. Hopefully things are back to normal in the Hackety Time studio. Ta-ra for now. <laughs> Derek! <laughs> what now, mother? Fuck or curling? Curling. Mark or submarines? Submarines. Mark or being slapped about the face with a wet fit? Mark. Hey, I knew you were best mates, cockers. <laughs> Would you be interested to hear my thoughts on the concept of friendship? No, not really. You've done enough. Tough. I've planned it now, cockers. Hit it, Herman. <laughs> Friends will help you tie your shoes if they learn how to first. Friends won't stop and stare at you if you fall in the dirt. Oh, it's gone everywhere. Friends will stand up for you when you call your teacher mum. Friends will help you get up if you fall down on your... I'm gonna catch a bomb. 
friends will say that you look nice in your dear stalker hat. Ooh. Friends will help you get rid of a particularly offensive cat. <coughs> friends will laugh at your old jokes as if they were brand new. So I be her. Friends will moan if you leave the toilet smelling of... Oh, then I can't say poo. Friends will ask to share your chips but never buy them back. Friends are always reminding you of the qualities that you lack. Friends want you to go and play when you're sick of seeing their face. Friends will tell you that you're weird for eating pizza with a crumpet base. You're weird, mate. Basically, every friend I've had has been an utter disgrace. Yes. What do you think, Cocker? It's a bit negative, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the truth hurts, Sammy boy. What's happening next, Larry? Stick around, folks, because still to come on today's Hacker Time, Mark gets the shock of his life, we've given the 4 o'clock club a Hacker Time makeover, and we say hello to Accordion George. Hi, Accordion George. All still to come on Hacker Time. Now, what makes a good meat paste sandwich? First, you get the bread right, and you get it to room temperature. Oh, I hope Lolly's remember my birthday. Oh, look, here she comes now. Oh, oh. oh hi, Lolly, you all right? Oh, hi. I came to ask you something. All oh, right, what is it? Go on. Well, um, it's a bit embarrassing, really. Oh, you can say anything you like to me, Lolly. Well, I wanted to ask if... Yes, yes, what is it, yeah? If you got two pounds for Will's birthday cake. <laughs> I've no idea who he is. He sounds like a right loser. But if we're lucky, we might get a slice of cake out of it. Oh, yeah, he does sound like, like a right loser, yeah, but here's your two pounds. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Progress, I suppose, isn't it? I'll, uh, I'll fire up the vein. Now, Sam and Mark, you two have been making CBBC shows for hundreds of years, and that's something we should celebrate. Would you like that? Yeah, very much. Definitely. Very much. Yeah, well, we've decided to take two of your most recent programmes and combine them in a little programme I like to call... Oh. <laughs> Copy Friday Wind Up Big Cat! Perfect. Can you tell which two of your programmes have inspired this? We can. Copy Cat's mm. Wind Up. No, no. It's Skate Nation <laughs> and Comet Relief Just Glee Club. <laughs> I'm joking, of yeah, course. Yeah, it is good. Wind Up and Copy Cat. <laughs> Even I like a joke, Mark! Yeah. yeah. That's a joke, Mark. Notice that, Hacker. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, round one is something I like to call... Round one! In this round, I'm going to start by winding someone up. All you have to do is copy the wind up. Do you understand me so far? Easy. Yes. yes. All right, then, without further ado, let's begin. Lolly, <laughs> I don't like your dress. Oh, well, that's a bit rude. <laughs> Lolly, I don't like your dress. Well, if one more person says that... <laughs> Lolly, I don't like your dress. Right, that's it. Come here. What? <laughs> 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 <In the mud. laughs> oh. Round two is a round I like to call... Round two! This game is called Pad on a Wheel. It's like Dad on a Wheel. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah good, word, word good word, isn't it? Yeah. Right, Sam, I'm going to show you a picture and you have to copy it. And Mark, your job is to guess what the picture is. Does that sound simple enough? Yeah, I'm usually pretty good at that, hmm. so, yeah. Well, it's not simple, my dear. For the wheel will be spinning and the loser will face a terrible, terrible consequence. Ooh, what a twist. Ha ha ha! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Sam, yeah. this is the picture that I want you to draw. So appear at this card. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Looking, not looking, not looking. Okay, yeah, I got that. Your time starts now! <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I think I... Hold up. It's getting good, getting good, getting good. <laughs> Time's up, stop. Oh. That's a lovely picture, that Sam. Thanks. Thanks. Mark. Thanks. Okay. Right, Mark. What is it? Okay, I'm going to go for Map of the World. Oh, I'm afraid you're wrong, Mark. Oh. No, it is a series of elaborate squiggles. Look, there's the original there. And look how well Sam's done. It looks the what? same. So that means, Mark... You must suffer a terrifying and brutal punishment. 
Come on, come and get him. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, round three is a round I like to call. Round three. Now, in copycats, you have a music round, correct? Yes. yes. And in wind up, you wear underpants of chaos. Am I right or am I right? Is that why I'm wearing these stupid underpants, yeah? Right. It is, cocker. So, in this round, Sam, you're going to play a trumpet whilst I repeatedly shock Mark. What? Okay. Don't try this at home. We are professionals. Wait, wait a minute. I didn't sign up for that. Right, just go with it, will you? Be a good guest. That's yeah. Let's take it away! Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Are you all right, mate? Uh, mate, can we go home, please? <laughs> That was good, wasn't it, Lolly? Oh, they should mix more CBBC shows together like that. Imagine fierce dumping ground. Ho ho! Oh, I don't think so, Derek. Can we watch something else for a bit? I'm bored of this. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. No. What's oh. this now? Oh. oh. OK, everybody. Detention is about to start, so get your pens out and get ready to write, write, write. Josh. What are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to get my fluffy pink pen out. It's right at the bottom. Look at the state of that pencil case. You know what you need to do with that? Keep your pencil case tidy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then your life will be easier. Can't you see? Look, your rubbish shavings are everywhere. Throw them in the bin. Don't throw them like you don't have a care. It's way too big. What are you keeping in there? Well, I've got my packed lunch and also this bag of hair. Josh, your cartridges have exploded. Keep a lid on things and don't get angry like I know no, you did. did. See this protractor? The numbers have faded. Chill out, man. I'm clearly educated. Arrange your life like you arrange a felt tips. Put everything in order, especially the important what bits. Don't graffiti it. Drawing on it isn't wise. <laughs> Look, I've drawn a mole and he's got really goofy eyes. In case you be an individual, just like yourself. If you have an untidy one, it's bad for your health. Mm, it's not strictly true, but keep it in to you. You'll work better at school. This much is true, so keep... Your pencil case tidy. Keep it tidy. Uh -huh. Then your life will be easier. Can't you see? Keep your pencil case clean. Keep uh. it clean now, y'all. Uh. At least do that right up until you turn the key. So you've learned your lesson, right? To keep things tidy and organized. Of course. And to prove it, take a look in my locker, why don't you? Me apparatus. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up now is the real deal. It's the most amazing, fabulous, incredible quiz on TV. It's something that we like to call... What? Say them. Right, Sam and Mark, inside each of these storage units lies a fun talent. If you do well at them, you might just win yourselves a little holiday. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm sure that the lovely people at home are dying to find out. <laughs> what? Say them. <laughs> Sam and Mark, time to pick your first storage unit. Yeah. Which will it be? I reckon we should go for that drawer there. With Good the drawer. choice. The side cabinet it is. Samuel, lean across and open said side cabinet aloft. Which one? That one. That's the one. And in there you'll find a gorilla. This challenge is entitled, What's It Gonna Do To You? So Sam, what do you reckon that gorilla is gonna do to you? Uh, well, looks pretty friendly. I reckon it wants to shake me hand. Let's find out if you're right. Go over to it. Hey! All right, All right let me have a go. All right. All right, how do you do? I also would have accepted grippage of the face. Close it up, get rid of that, yeah. Right, now pick your next storage unit. Um, yeah, watering can. Good yeah, watering choice, can. the wardrobe it is. Come on out, George. It's a cordy and George. It's a cordy and George. It's a cordy and George. Emma Dabba who? George. 
Say hello to accordion George, Sam and Matt. Hi, accordion George. Give him a little wave, George. Hey, <laughs> lovely. Now, accordion George is going to play you a popular tune on his accordion. All you have to do is guess which song it is. Is that all right? OK. OK. All right. Yeah. Accordion George, commence the tune. <laughs> What was it? One Direction, What, what makes, makes You beautiful? beautiful. Let's find out if you're correct. You don't know, oh, oh, you don't know you're beautiful. You were correct, it was One Direction, What Makes You Beautiful. Well done, team. Let's have a big clap for accordion George there. Yay! All right, George, don't milk it. Shut the door, son. Oh, yeah, go on, I'll try it. Time now to open your final storage unit. Which one will it be? The hat box. <coughs> hat box. Hat, hat box. box, should it be? Yeah. Good choice! Okay. okay. Quick fire. Mm. Hey, let's go! Name a member of the popular duo Sam and Mark. Sam! Mark. Correct. Which one's Sam and which one's Mark? Sam, oh, Sam. Mark. Name a programme you haven't been in. Flintstones. Springwatch. What do you call a feline that mimics what you do? Copycat. A nuisance. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? This isn't time for comedy, cockers. Will somebody answer the door? No. What's yes. your favourite smart? Am right. I a smart? Do two smarks make a right? Yep. Yep. How many smarks? Which smark? Seven. Smart. Four. That's it. Your time's up. How did they do, Derek? <laughs> they scored minus 12 teen, hacker. That means only one thing. You've won the holiday. Yes, you're hey. going to the Arctic. Oh. Hey, what? No, no. Oh, I don't know no, know no. no. Get there. Too Cocker. bad. No. You're going, you're going, cockers. Oh. Herman, take him away. Well, come on, then, lads. Come on. Thanks yeah, for coming yeah, in, come Sam on, and Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the holiday. <laughs> Thanks for watching my little show today. I'm off home now. And just for the record, I've got no plans whatsoever. I'm just going to sit in silence and think about scaffolding. But you said you were too busy to come to my birthday party. Yep, no plans whatsoever. Yeah. All that's left for me to do now is sing my fantastic song. Join in. You must know the words by now, cockers. That is it for now, the end of the show. I need the love, so I'm going to go. I'll see you next time on this show of mine. Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time. It's been amazing, we've been locking around. The whole programme costs just under a pound. We'll watch again next time, cos we've got much more. There'll be tons of other funny stuff, it will be top draw. Sam and Mark were here today, oh, what a great pair of friends. But when I sent Sam to the Antarctic, their partnership nearly came to a very subtle sort of end. And that is it for now, the end of the show. I need the love, love, so I'm going to go. I'll see you next time on this show of mine. Put it in your diary, it's called...